Ironwood Games, this is Marcus, and we're back. So if you notice briefly right there in the HUD, I have five tanks of sand compared to the four and almost the fifth one that I had last time. In reviewing the footage, I had noticed that, in my notes of the walkthrough, I noticed that I appeared that I had missed one. And I was thoroughly convinced that I hadn't missed one and that the game, being as old as it is, had glitched and just not given me the full fifth tank after all the sand dots that we got. Uh, it turns out I did miss one. Um, in the cutscene in the previous video, uh, when Farah pulls you aside, um, it'll turn you kind of around so it's a little disorienting. Um, but if you're careful, if you go back into the room after the cutscene's over, there's a sand tank there, and I missed that one. So, went back, got it, and as far as I have gotten all the collectibles that we can so far. As you can see, they're slowly introducing new mechanics of moving boxes, a tradition in most 3D platformers, as well as pressure switches. Well, this is a pretty room. And levers. Oh, thank God! I was afraid you were one of them! Can you help me activate the Azad defense system? Defense system? It'll take both of us to do it! I'll reset the axles for you! The man who's normally in charge of this got... Never mind! Ride the platform down to the bottom! Then use those two cranks to bring it back up! You see those four axles? You'll need to pick them up one by one until you've got all four. Then bring them up to the top together. Make sure you pick them up in the right order. Wow, man, you don't need to shout. It's quite okay. So this is the first kind of major puzzle room in this game. Um, if we actually look over here, this actually is the map of the rest of this to which we need to get these quote-unquote axles. When we have the appropriate mood symbol lined up with the robot axle, we step in the pressure That's circle. it! You've got the first axle! Now pick up the other three! Remember! Pay attention to the grooves! Might have already messed this up. Because I think we wanted the sun first. Right? Or do we can go all the way back? That's it! One crank turns the platform! The other one raises and lowers it! That's not where that explodes for some. So easy to turn around. That's two! Okay. Now we want to go up and rotate the other way. The prince automatically switches it to the appropriate turn, so it's only can hold it down. Grab the hat moon. 
Just one more! manner of machine is this? I told you! It's the palace's defense system! Stop wasting time! Throw your lever! Ha! We did it! Serve those accursed demons right! Oh, by God, they'll rue the day! They ever dared attack the palace of Azad! That's gonna hurt us pretty good spirit then. <laughs> so that scream of course insinuated that the guy turned into a zombie, but if you saw there was no animation, it just suddenly the guy stopped. Oh, there's a sand minion there waiting for us. Kinda of sucks that that is unfortunately a forced kind of area, i.e. we didn't have the choice to turn on the defense system because we can get through the door. It makes for some spicy gameplay. Ooh, this looks cool. We'll save. Done. I'll start the story from here next time. Alice's defenses had a twisted logic of their own. They could be circumvented by using the strategically placed switches which I soon learned to recognize. Yet it was hard to escape the feeling that I had made a terrible mistake by setting in motion such a deadly system of traps, which seemed in truth more likely to claim my life than that of an invader that was not flesh and blood. As you saw with the lever, these are timed. Oh, no, come on. There we go. Uh, it's a little close, too close for wear. Thank <laughs> you. 
wasn't too bad compared to previous battles. Didn't get to use that dive move though. Something we'll have to do later. Before we save, there's a sound cloud over here. So we're just going to overrate this past one as there was really not much in between our last save point besides. Done. I'll start the story from here next puzzle time. in a battle, which honestly didn't take that long. Alrighty, so now our goal is we need to climb our way to the top. So that's where we came from. That's not how we all run. Ooh, no, nope. come up, Prince. Alright, that was uh, bad parkour. that damn defense again. Oh. Gonna blame that on the hitbox. So this is where I fear the architecture in the game kind of then becomes much more video gamey compared to earlier levels. The intro level and exploring the tombs before you got the dagger I thought was really very creatively done when it comes to implementing kind of architecture and parkour and stuff like that, where now it's very much a bit um, platforms and random poles and stuff like that. It really don't make sense to like what the palace's design would look like. I doubt that they would just have random huge ass buttons on the wall as well as just random if a defense system like were to be in a palace like this just random spots of spikes still fun though perhaps they kind of felt a little Range. bit more limited anyway going to their crack in the wall as if I've been here before heals us another health upgrade I have been here before Infinite cosmic power. <laughs> Noise. Uh, you? I feel stronger than ever. Yeah, keep bragging, Prince. <laughs> Some of us aren't 23 anymore. Hmm. 
<laughs> to be fair, I didn't know where that was going to take Is that all that's there? Um, do I just flip around and swing up? Yes, okay. Sometimes the puzzles aren't that clear, or my depth perception is just... That made that worse. Slowing time. Okay, can camera? Camera. Can you work with me here, bud? Please? A little bit? No, no, that made that worse. That's slightly better. Oh! That was unnecessarily complicated. And I'm at full health. It's kind of weird that they just have the button just off the side with one simple kind of wall run puzzle. I only have two retries before I gotta go stop at the start point. Thank you. 
sorry. Why? I know what it is to lose a father. That was not my father. save with this one done I'll start the story from here next time <clears throat> so this is the thanks I get for saving your life you don't understand I need that dagger to undo to undo what I have done truly you must think I'm a fool you are right to be cautious but fight as bravely as you may you cannot defeat this enemy the sands will spread. They will consume... everything. I have heard it said that you are kind as well as brave. Please believe me. Help me find the hourglass. It is in the Sultan's treasure vault, atop the Tower of Dawn. How do you know that? I just know. Come with me then if you insist. But I warn you, I move pretty fast. You'd better keep up. Oh, we're just jumping out of windows. That was a big trust fall situation. Yeah, some actual parkour. Wait! Wait, your baggage and have a health bar, don't die. Alrighty, we're gonna stop right there for this video. Thank you so very much for joining me. Until next time, please like, comment, subscribe, do the hooky pokey in the comments. We'll see you next time. Take care.